Can't chip it out in the first attempt against Chase Harrison, but kicks it ahead for Tanner Lassad. Left wing, Mackay hits the pep blue line. Long shot and a right pad save from Wapple. Bowl for the screen in front. Rebound up the left half ball. Schumacher knocks it up a leg and out to center. Cody Gordon now on the wing. Drop pass for Gutton across the pep blue line. Left side, Gordon in front. They score. Brett Lernout gives the Broncos the one to nothing lead. For the second. Minutes into the second. Into the first, rather. Christopher up left wing into the offensive zone. Stymied in the circle. Cooper gets the loose puck. Circles the back of the Bronco goal. Cooper in the right circle. Looks in. Got to move and he scores. Taylor Cooper, what a goal. And we're tied 1-1. Well, it's not going to go down as a power play goal, though. The odd man advantage does create the opportunity. There's room for Cooper to work. He settles the puck down. Flashes the leather with a glove save with nine. It's cleared by Heathering to the line, but not out. Power play is over. Padakin into the high slot. Skates into the right circle. A shot tipped in front. They score. Jesse Gabriel and the Pets take the lead. It's another one after the tail end of the power play. Nickel is able to get back into the play to support, but just a long shot towards the goal. Lots of traffic. Gabriel gets a stick on it, completely changes the direction. Overall, face off to Waffles left. One back by Tyler Steenberger to the Broncos against Luke Smith. Rim back of the goal by Folk coming out front, trying to jam it in with Schumacher. And it's a goal. Waffle is furiated. But it's jammed in on the short side. And we've got a 2-2. Two -two. Try jam play in the crease, and Landon Bow is on the goal line. No signal yet, and it stays out. Still no signal. Yeah. Gordon, Gordon to center ice, into the pad zone ahead for Rigby in the right circle. Backhand shot, blocker save. Wapo loose puck in the side of the goal. Wapo finds it with a glove to cover. With 5.19 left in the second, and a 2-2 game. The Broncos have changed up their lines. They've moved. And Brooks circles the back of the net. Center and it's off the skates, and just wide. Wagner to it again for the pass right corner. Left it there on the right half wall. Christopher in front for Wagner. Wagner trying to shot. Brooks gets it, and he scores. Out of Brooks, and the Pats take the 3-2 lead. Well, the Pats seem to have some jam going around the net. The puck was finding their sticks, get some lucky bounces along the way, and some hard work as well. Austin Wagner and Braden Christopher kind of have a youth. <laughs> right half ball, Gordon back to Lerner. One-timer, clop, but saved by Wapple. Rebound in front, D'Amico has it underneath him. It's loose. They look for it. Jammed away in the slot. Got it to the line, but not out. Learn out. To the right half, okay, 37 seconds left, back to Leonard, one-timer, and it's blocked in front. Bounces to Brust, right corner, seconds left in team two, as Cave skates to center right side, five seconds, Cave, booked to the line, Lejoie, dumps it in, and the horn sounds! Adam Brooks, the game winner in the third, and the Pats go up 2 nothing in the best of seven series! On... Unbelievable drama at the end of this one. The Pats fight it off. Nice. And the Pats have a 2 0 series lead. What a third period from the blue and white. And fully deserving of the victory tonight after a bit of a sketchy one last night. An excellent effort on home ice to send the fans home happy. The Pats don't shoot them. Listen, Jesus,